Howdy folks, welcome to episode 29. We have a guest apparently today <laughs> who's going to be helping us build a small vessel. So let's get started on that and we're going to make a an attack SV for the purpose of taking out some some turrets and let me see here we need we already have a core so we need a fuel tank and generator let me double check let me see if we have any of that stuff in here in our SV blocks no we don't we have that we have rocket launchers and missiles okay and tons of missiles that's good all right so yeah we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna craft all this stuff so let's get going on that and we'll do let me see we need small vessel we need fuel tank generator uh, we're gonna go very minimal on this cockpit let's see we're gonna do how many what is this this is two by five by two okay and that's 840 huh okay I'm kind of wanting to put let me see we're gonna try those for left and right we're gonna go back forward up down and we're gonna put in our CS obviously and we need feet so we're gonna put three at least and let's look at if there's anything else. I need an ammo box. I do need an oxygen tank. And let me see. I don't think there's anything else that we actually need for this. Because this is going to be a very, like I said, I want it to be as light as possible. So that it can move as quickly as possible. It needs to be able to dodge. <laughs> it needs to be quick and agile like a cat <laughs> all right so i think that is what we've got here and i could probably do let me see do we have small yeah we have small truss blocks so i'm gonna make let me see do we have steel plates yeah we still have some steel plates i'm gonna make 50 of these just for the fun of it um i they're basically going to be deco. They're not going to be. Um, they're not going to be for structural or anything like that. They're just going to be pretty much for looks. So we're going to go out here, go outside, and we'll build this thing. We'll see if we can get it built quickly. So we're just going to do this. You know what else I need to do before I forget? I keep forgetting about this, and I think it's in my sundries actually. Let me see. Sundries. I thought I had like a ton of those things, didn't I? It must be in the dump chest then. Yeah, there they are. Okay. I'm like, I had a ton of these things. I know I had a bazillion of them. So, and I probably should put at least one. There's a cockpit block. I should put at least one minigun on this thing. Just because um, if I don't, then it's going to be a pain to try to shoot down the drones that I encounter. I don't want to have to shoot down drones with missiles. It's kind of overkill. It's kind of a waste of what I've got. So we're going to take these blocks out. There we go. And we're going to put on, let me see, we're going to put on our sideways thrusters and our backward thrusters. So I think we're going to go like, wow, those are big thrusters, aren't they? <laughs> Those are really big thrusters. This is gonna be interesting. Let me see. We're gonna go like this. And this. There we go. So that's gonna be our, our dodging <laughs> left and right. And we're gonna do this. Let's see. Forward and backward, like that. And we're gonna do up and down. And we'll go like 
this. Come on. And you know, I saw it right there. There we go. Okay, up and down, and now we just need to put in our stuff. So put in our fuel tank, generator. I need to get rid of this stuff, this base building stuff, cockpit, RCS. Okay, so we're going to put in our... Let me see. I'm thinking that... This is going to be a two wide. So we're going to do this thing like that. See how that sits. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I want. Okay. So it looks like it'll sit right and we'll do, let's see, we're going to put the fuel tank and generator and stuff on here. Let me see. I do want some protection from um, stray drone shots, so I probably should use like real blocks, but <laughs> probably still not going to. Um, let's see, we'll go like this and this, and I kind of enjoy the glass cannon type builds because I know somebody's gonna come along and try to tell me to put combat steel and all that nonsense <laughs> on a fighter ship, and it's like you're missing the the purpose of this of what I'm doing here if, if you're suggesting combat steel you're not getting what I'm doing here um, let me see should I put this I think I'm gonna put this underneath here and we're gonna move the RCS to here so yeah it's just it's a personal preference the way you like to play you know if you want to build a giant tank and just ram into everything that's fine um, if you want to try that in this particular <laughs> in this particular config, you're not going to get very far because, like I've mentioned before, it's um, <laughs> it's kind of uh, yeah, not going to work because these are ridiculously uh, yeah, ridiculously overpowered enemy thingies. Let me see. We're going to go like this. I suppose I could put on a symmetry axis and do this more easily, right? Let's see, we're going to go down there and then we're going to put those like this. Let me see, let's put up an axis there. There we go. We can do this. We can put one here like that and then we can put these here and then we can put a couple of these little wall blocks so basically the idea is just very very minimalist protect the fuel tank from um, really obvious shots <laughs> from drones it's very it's basically you got one chance you know, and if you're getting hit, then you need to get out kind of thing. Um, let me see, we can do this in the back too. Like that. And I think we could probably put some of these on here. Like this. And there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna put on landing gear. And this is almost as minimal as a ship can get. Let's see, we're going to put on these. I'm really trying to decide whether I want to put on wings. I should put on some kind of thing. Let me see. I'm going to, I'm going to put it like that just to drive people nuts. So. <laughs> Alright, so we need something to put our weapons on. So why don't we do this and let me see we can just let me try this let's put our we have rocket launchers here so we can do like this right we can put those here and here and then we can put a we can put a machine gun somewhere on this, like on the end of the end of that. We'll put one on each side. 
because I do want it to be a little bit faster at killing stuff. So we're going to make two of those. And let me see here. We're going to go to here and we're going to make two of the SV Gatling guns. There we go. So yeah, see, we're out of Sathium, so we're we're missing all this stuff. So we're going to have to go get Sathium too. Basically, we're going to either have to kill POIs or we're going to have to find... Um, we're going to have to go kill, kill some POIs or we're going to have to find the... Um, whatchamacallits, the deposits. So let's get this stuff. I should put that I should put that stuff in the constructor ship because that's where I'm gonna need it again. So let's see, we're gonna go like this. Was that in I think that was in the dump chest, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna take that. And I'm just gonna look and see if there's anything else quickly that I needed in there. No. No, so these can go in here. These can go in here. That can go in there. Okay. So yeah, we're going to put this other stuff in the constructor ship here. Like this. Because this is all the stuff we're going to use for building on... The other planet nope I guess not I guess I'll bring those I'll be bringing those with me <laughs> and yeah I suppose I'll is there something else I can get out of there like fuel I can take fuel we'll do this and there's my small ammo box okay so we're gonna put these on here I think we'll put them on the outside here there we go. And should we paint this thing? We're stuck with a paint gun in our inventory, right? So why don't we go... What color should we do for this? That's horrible, isn't it? It's like the worst color. That color shouldn't even exist anywhere in the universe. Um, have we done purple yet? I don't think we've done dark purple yet in this. So we'll do this. I think we've done everything in black and stuff. Let me see. Apply to whole block. Medium. Here we go. We're going to do this. Like that. Should we get the whole thing? And our non symmetry thing there. Okay, so we'll turn off the plane. There we go. And we're going to put in fuel and oxygen. And we're going to put in. Let me see, we're gonna make that, that. I need to come up with a name for it. We can fill our stuff. And I still have to find my power key. So let's see what we have for statistics on this. 100 meters per second, so 10 Gs. This thing's gonna pull 10 Gs going back and forth. Dodging, that's crazy. All right, and it has 127 minutes of fuel. All right, I can live with that. So we're gonna do that. While we're parking this, we're gonna go. Let's see. We're gonna go like this. All right. We're gonna turn it off. And. Trying to decide if I want to park the constructor ship on here or just leave it. I think I'm just going to leave the constructor ship. I don't think we need to bring it with. I'm not sure why I left it on because there's nothing in the fridge, right? No, nope, there's nothing in the fridge. Let me turn that off. There we go. Okay, and then we can take. So this made 382 combat steel blocks, by the way. I did run out of sathium. I think I showed you that. And so we're going to pick this back up. We're going to put that in the CVBA blocks. And let's see, we're going to put this stuff back in here. There we go. Okay. And so, yeah, I, I can actually put the combat steel blocks away here, too. Let me do that just so that I'm not carrying all this extra stuff. Because 
I may or may not <laughs> may or may not end up getting killed on you know while doing this so I'm probably not gonna bring let me see let's do this that's not CV and base blocks but yeah we're gonna put everything away before we get in the ship here but why don't we first go like this and let me see we're gonna go in here did I just bump into my ship I think I did I bumped into my small vessel okay and we're gonna find why am I oh you know what I turned the thrusters off that's why let's turn on thrusters and the turrets and the lights <laughs> I like bumped into the ship and I'm like drifting toward the the planet here so we're gonna go to this let's see we're gonna do lock target and where is it there it is okay so yeah we're gonna go to this this is the one we were just at because it has sathium and we're gonna see if we can find a sathium deposit and or a that's a really long time <laughs> and or a thing that we can see there's magnesium and what was that but yeah we'll see if there's a thing we can find let me see is there any sathium on the moon there's sathium on this there's no sathium on the moon okay so yeah we're just gonna go to this planet the barren planet here I think we're gonna fly the ship around it so should we go to the North Pole I'm wondering should we fly over the North Pole so that way when we when we leave we know where we parked kind of thing I think that's an idea Let's see I mean the other thing is you can do what you can do is you can park like over the noon location of the planet if you know what I mean you can park over the equator at noon so that way no matter where you are you just head for noon kind of thing at the equator or sunrise sunrise that sort of thing but yeah it just needs to be something that we actually know where we are let me see here this is afternoon and we're gonna get a little bit closer here and then we can take our ship down so we're gonna just a little bit more okay there we go turn on the auto brake and it'll stop itself alright so we're going to do thrusters and lights and we're gonna turn on our turn off the constructor okay and then eventually we're gonna be able to build we're gonna be able to build the rest of this ship and make make the connection there so I'm kind of thinking I should just bring this thing down so that if I run into a POI I can just shoot it up so let me see here did I get rid of everything that was in my inventory no I didn't okay all right well I'm just gonna put it in here so that I, that way when I go to look for it again I totally can't remember where I put it <laughs> you know that's what's gonna happen right okay we don't need projectile rounds we don't need that um, we can bring some oxygen and that's fine that's 10 fuel packs okay that's all we need all right so we're gonna go back to this one we're gonna put we do have oxygen okay all right cool so yeah we've got enough time we can head down to the planet and we're gonna find we're gonna see what we can find so yeah we'll see if we can pick off a you know find a lonely POI that's by itself or a sathium deposit one or the other whichever is our first Wow whichever is our first victim let's see 
I'm glad you start out high enough that you're not just gonna like spawn in right next to a POI and and get blasted, right? Let's see. So I need to stay probably up a little bit high so that I can stay out of drone shot range. Because <laughs> the drones don't shoot up. And I'm trying to decide which way I want to do this. I think we're just going to start going... Yeah, we're going to stay on daytime. We're going to go north. And then we'll go north and then come south. There's a listening post right there. Those were pretty those were pretty easy things, weren't they? Let me see. That is POI. Lots of POIs. Huh. Okay. That must have been what we found. We've been here a couple times. That must have been what we found last time. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to make I'm going to make a trip north. And up to the pole and then come across and then come back down, I think. So I'm going to do that and I will meet you guys in just a minute. Alright, we've got something over here. I think that's one of those... I think that's one of those um, non-shooty... The little alien thingies, right? Unknown helix? Yeah, that doesn't have any... That doesn't have any uh, stuff on it. So we can take the core out of that. We can take the core out of that and disassemble it, I think. Let's see here. There we go. Alright, and let me see here. Did I... I totally took the... Yeah, I did take the thing out of my inventory. Okay, so we're going to put a marker here. Waypoint helix, because that's one thing we can actually do. And then I think we're going to head for this one. There we go. Yeah, we're going to head for that one, because this is like, I mean, these new planets are pretty and stuff, but at 50 meters per second, the new size at 50 meters per second is like, I, I've, yeah, you know, I've got better things to do with my time than just fly in a straight line for two hours it's not interesting so yeah and you know what I've totally forgot to do too is I forgot to grab my detector I forgot to bring my detector I need to to do that when I go back up to the ship but yeah we're just gonna fly over to the listening post I'll meet you over there in a second and here's another POI I think this one is a shooter we need to get it discovered if we can. I seem to remember this now. I think this is where we ended up taking apart the other one. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. Unknown artifact. Does this one have big turrets on the outside or no? It doesn't look like it does. Is this the one that we that we tore apart before? I think this is the one that we took the core out of the top. This one looks a little bit different. Maybe it's me. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody's shooting at me. So they've got they've got little shooties. Alright. We're gonna leave that alone. For now, we're gonna go find this listening post. But yeah, that's another one, although you can't really take that apart with the HV very easily. I mean, you could probably build a hovering CV platform to do it with, but it's kind of painful to try to do that. <laughs> Especially if you fall off, then you're like in your HV stuck and all that. I think this is, this might even be the one where we got killed last time. Let me see, there's a... This might be the one that we totally disassembled off the sea. I think it is because I recognize this terrain, these hills and this little valley and stuff. Yeah, this is this is totally the one that we took apart. I don't know why there's still a marker there for it. But yeah, I guess we're going to have to find a different one. There's these other POIs over this way. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's uh, That's awesome. It's still showing the marker there. Okay, so we're going to find another one, and let me see... I think we had... There's another one over there. Okay. 
We're going to do that. And what do they have for... There's 17 Sathium deposits. We should be able to find some somewhere. So yeah, we're going to go check out what this other POI is. Are we heading for it? No, we need to go up this way over the mountains. We're going to go check out and see what that one is. And I'll meet you over there in a second. Oh, that's another floaty. Okay. Well, that's the floaty one with all the guns on it, too. Let me see. I know there were more over here. There was a whole cluster of them over here. Let's see what we can find. There's got to be something, right? And yeah, if if we don't have one we can pick off over here, what I'm going to do is I'll just go back up to the ship and grab the detector before we get too far around the planet. Because I do want to find a Sathium deposit today. Sometime today. Let's see. They're, whoops, they're just due west of us. So yeah, we're going to head over that way, and I think is that one right there already? No, I think that's just terrain, because they're not even they're not even loading in. Yeah, they're not even loading in anytime um, near them. They're like loading in at the last second is really obnoxious to pop in and everything. That was Promethium back there? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna find... Where are they? Okay. Apparently I didn't even explore that way, so we're gonna go to the south of them this time. And see if we can... There's one. So we're gonna turn our thing back on. Let me see. We're gonna go like this. And we're going to do this. And I need to check my devices here. Okay, I didn't take any big damage to important stuff. Okay, we're going to get our rocket launchers. What is our range? 278. Okay, so we have to get these guys. There's turrets on the top. Wow, that's a big one over there. It's like a drone base or something. Alright, and what is our distance here? I can't even see what our distance is. There we go. It's an armory. Okay. Come on. Yeah, that's a lot of... That's a whole lot of shots. Come on. They just shot down their own. They just shot down their own. Did you see that? That's awesome. Okay. And we're going to go like this. Come on. Get out. There we go. Whoa. They just took out something, I think. I don't know what they took out. Nope, I can't reach him there. Not a good idea. Okay, we're going to regroup here. And what we're going to do... I'm going to back off here for a second so I can see what I've got. What I lost here. Because they shot... Yeah, they shot off one of my machine guns. Okay. That's fine. I thought I felt that. <laughs> Alright. And so I think what we're going to try doing here... Is we're going to go a little bit lower. And see if we can... Get this red laser out of the way. Let me level off here. See if we can get this red laser out of the way. Come on. There we go. Okay, we got him. All right, we should be able to get this guy. We need to get him while we're not getting shot by those things. See, we need to get in 262. There we go. All right, and now we should be able to pick these guys off. Whoa, watch out. Oh, I'm not close enough, that's why. There we go, and... Just gotta watch out, they might do the shoot through their own thing. Okay, so we've got the armory taken care of. I just need to make sure there's no... I don't remember... Whoa! <laughs> just need to make sure there's 
Yeah, all these guys are taken care of and stuff. There's a lot of them, aren't there? Wow. Yeah, there are. There's a whole lot of them. We can come in with the, um... Actually, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to come in with the uh, hovercraft or whatever. So, let me see. Um, let me do this. Let's make a marker here. Waypoint. Alright. And we're going to head up to... We're going to head back up to the ship. And we're going to get our hovercraft. I think we're just going to bring the we're just going to bring the CV down and we'll take care of this. <laughs> Cuz yeah, this ship isn't for like cleanup and everything. It's just, you know, all the fine details and everything, taking shots and stuff. Cuz yeah, I don't want them taking pot shots and taking out an engine and then all of a sudden I'm crippled and and things things end up uh piling up quickly on you when you do that. So yeah, we'll head back here and we'll bring down the CV. That should be easy enough. Let's see. Need to make sure that the CV is... Oh, it's upside down. Need to make sure that it's... um That it's capable of... Uh, that the turrets are on, that is. That's what I'm, the word I'm looking for. Okay. And so we're going to put this over that's sure that's a good enough spot what did it dock to I don't even know what it docked onto but it's docked okay because yeah we'll be able to do we'll be able to bring this thing over and these guys can these guys can take care of let me see make sure that it has yeah it's got a ton of bullets okay and we'll, we can do that Oh, it doesn't have an oxygen tank. Okay, I keep forgetting about that. And let me turn off this zoom too. There we go. And yeah, we're gonna head down there. So I'm gonna take the ship down there and I'll meet you down there in a second. Wow, check this out. Look at all that stuff down there. That's the, that must be the lots of, yeah, that's the lot. Lots of POIs marker, and my machine guns are shooting at them. Seriously, there's no way. There's no way they they're actually in range to be able to hit that thing down there. I don't know what they're shooting at. I think the AI for firing them does not um, consider the local, whatever you want to call it, the planet affected range. I think it just ignores that and it uses whatever the maximum range is for like targeting and firing. See, they're shooting at stuff and there's no way. There's 700 meters away. There's no way they're hitting stuff. So let's go down here. Let's see. We're gonna auto level. Should be able to get rid of a bunch of these dudes. Let's see. I assume they'll be taking care of all of the, uh, yep, you can see the little Xerox dudes down there on the ground. I think the machine guns will be killing them all, <laughs> yep. They're destroying them all. Kill them all. Thank you. All right, so they can take care of that. Whoa, don't do that. Come on, kill them. Thank you. I do need to watch out for rockets. The rockets can do some damage. Let's see, there's mechanoids over there. Check it out. So yeah, what we can do is we can park over here. And we can take care of this armory. And you know what? I think we are actually out of time for today. So that's going to have to wait for episode 30. <laughs> mean, right? But yeah, that's going to be it for episode 29 because, yeah, we are out of time for today. So join me in episode 30 and we will take on this armory and then disassemble it and, 
and see what it, all of these guys... I don't know if I even want to spend time trying to loot those guys or not right now. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for 29. Join me in episode 30, and we'll see you then. Later. <laughs>